it's Christine. Time for a scrapbook process video. And this one is for off the board with pineapple papers. So there will be a link below. Um, this is the one I found you guys. It's called Grateful. And it says for two crafty chipboard. It's from 2018. So no idea if this too crafty is open, not open, whatever. Um, what I like about it is it has this vertical photo and all these like, oh shoot, you guys, all these like florals and stuff. And then this torn paper, it's on top of a wood grain. What I have, you guys, is my daughter got engaged. If you watch me at all um, on Instagram or anything like that, perhaps or even Facebook, if you're a Facebook friend, uh, my daughter got engaged on Christmas Eve this year, this past year. And y'all, this, this is the cutest young man. I love him. Um, anyway, so we got a picture of that. I have a bunch of little pictures I need to do of them, but that's the one I want to do today. And what I have is the Mente Papers Bohemian Wedding which look at this, you guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, so what I have to do is figure out which paper I want to be the background and which paper I want to be the teared part, the teared, <laughs> the torn part. So I've got to go through and figure that out. That's a gorgeous wine color there. This is really beautiful. I might do something like this. Oh, you guys, that is so stunning. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think I might go this route. Now I might actually also, I don't know that I will though. I might, I'd like to frame this, but perhaps not. Perhaps not, I'm not sure. So these might go to the side. Um, so this is, I'm thinking now what I'm gonna do. So I'll tear these, right, like it shows. And then I have these chippies here. I used this on a layout not too long with me and my husband in like a little saloon outfit. So, but I'm thinking something, uh, they had like a long skinny title on the bottom. I don't have that option, but there's, you, you, you will forever be my always is kind of what it, I'm loving. Oh, there's two different sizes, you guys. Okay, I may have to mess with this. So we'll see which of these two. I do love this one and I love this one. So we'll see which of these two. Of course, I got the little chippies that could be base for clusters. And then I have, I need to hurry up y'all. I don't wanna keep rambling. I got some some round things and some tags and whatnot. And then I did find um, some Prima flowers from kind of old Tommies that, I say old Tommies, I've had these a while, guess what I mean by that. Anyway, I found these, yeah, 2014, you guys, crazy. Oh, that doesn't go with that. Um, and they kind of go, so I'll have to be a little bit, you know, smart about it. I don't know that I like these blue ones here, but the little small ones might look, look good. And then I fussy cut a bunch of stuff out already. I still have a few little pieces left to do, but I did go through. Mente Papers is one of those that has uh, lots of fussy cut things. So I've got a little wedding cake. There's a little, uh, I know there's an engagement ring box. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that cute? So, oh, and I have some lace. I don't know that's not on there. And I do see that she has actually, uh, looks like some paste or something. So I may get into my stencils and see about some kind of little paste or something to put a texture paste on or, or some kind of something, something. So let me get into that and I'll be back on in a minute. Okay, you guys, this layout got kind of long, so my apologies for that. I don't usually like to go over 10, 12 minutes, but it is what it is. Um, I cut, cut, I'm tearing the paper here, just like what's a Pinterest um, layout look like. And I will tell you, I love the contrast between this paper and the, the wine colored paper. I will say I wished I had given myself a little more visibility of the wine paper. Um, the Pinterest one, I think you could see a little more of the wood grain. That being said, I have maybe a bigger picture. I'm not really sure because I definitely, my photo definitely took up a lot of space on this layout. So I don't know. Um, so I'm going to tear my papers here. I'm also going to be honest and tell you guys, this becomes very, um, it's full. This is a full layout, you guys, but Mente, that's kind of what happens, right? I mean, there's all these gorgeous images and I did fussy cut a bunch of stuff and I've, I've used um, all kinds of stuff on here. So this gets very, very full, um, but I do love how it turned out. Okay, so the other thing I decided to do, so I've, I've glued my torn papers down and I've got this paste. And initially I was thinking, oh, I'll, I'll put the stencil down and I'll run the paste through it. And then I realized that the area, the area that the stencil would come or the paste would go through was kind of thick or like, it would have covered up a lot of stuff. So then I decided, well, you know what? I'll put it on top of the stencil and I'll use the stencil as like a little transfer 
and I'll press it on through, from the top of the stencil. So using it like a little transfer. And I do like how this turned out. Now that means I had to go over here and I had to paint this over and over again <laughs> and paint it on top of the stencil and try not to go so thin that it was going off the stencil. So it was tricky. I'm not going to lie, but I do think it looks kind of cool. And I do think it kind of, it, it kind of, uh, you know, um, is an homage to what she had done where she had used, honestly, I can't tell for sure what she did. And I don't know if there's a video or anything like that, but the, the, the little chipboard pieces that she used was like a lattice looking thing. And then the things that she had put on here, she might've used paint or something possibly, and then used it to kind of, or I'm, I'm imagining maybe she used the paint on the stencil or the uh, chipboard pieces and then like put that on her paper is what I'm kind of thinking perhaps. So I do think this turns out kind of cool. Now I cut away because I, it took me a little while to do all those. I did various pieces of it just kind of where she had it on her layout. Um, there's some in the center, some in the upper right, or some in the lower right, you know, there's kind of all over the place. So here's where I got my photo. Now I did mat it on one of the uh, like cream colored pieces of the paper. And then there was the, with the chippies is this kind of greenish paper that's backing them. And I thought, well, that kind of goes with the color palette. So I used that to back the photo as well, or I'm going to. And then I decided to, um, there's some envelopes in the ephemera stuff. So I pulled those out. I'm thinking I'm going to layer those up. And I'm actually going to add some more paper too. And then I pulled this tag out. Now she did not have a tag on her layout. But I want to really journal this because it does. it's important to know what date this happened. <laughs> so I'm going to add it to the tag. And here's where I'm pulling out the chippies. Now, she had, like again, these lattice pieces, but they definitely looked like they had either been cut or broken or something. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to take these chippies, and I'm going to cut them in half and in different little shapes and stuff like that. And then I did this. And then the first one here, I did the top and bottom half or whatever. I'm going to actually decide to come in with my scissors and cut them on purpose. And if actually it, it kind of happened by accident, I had to look up there. I think it was that one right there. I just touched and I realized one of the pieces was broken off. Um, and I realized, I think that looked kind of cool. Now, that being said, that particular piece right there, I've got that up there and I almost cover the whole thing. You guys, <laughs> I'm kind of mad at myself about it. You can kind of see it poking out, but I definitely put that up there and you can't hardly see any of it. But <laughs> once I get done with this layout, um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the pieces off of these chippy pieces. I'll cut a few little pieces off and kind of on purpose make them look broken, if that makes sense. Um, I don't think I've done, I'm going to cut away in just a minute, I think, because this, like I said, I, I had 45 minutes of time on this and I don't really know. I didn't I don't usually do that. Usually I try to turn off my, my recording if I realize a particular piece of the process is taking a long time because I don't have much storage on my phone, you guys. I need a new phone so bad. It's kind of toward the end of its life, but it's not quite time to turn it in. You know what I mean? And Every time I record something, almost I have to delete a whole bunch of stuff off the phone. <laughs> and I've tried moving things. It's just, it's just sick. I, there's stuff I need to look at it. I may need to delete. Um, it says YouTube's using up like 12 gigs of memory or something like that. So it tells me there's like data storage or something. Here's where I decided on the picture. I was going to go ahead and just add some more layers, you guys. Um, she had kind of some stitching layers in this and that. And I thought, you know what? These, these little torn pieces of paper were laying there. And I go, that's kind of pretty. I'm going to add it. <laughs> So I went a little extra here uh, with that little floral piece and then the little green. It was actually the back side of that. It was like the doors or something like that. It was like little doors or something. Um, I do scuff the edges of those uh, envelope pieces, and I'll actually cut them in half, too, because I go, why am I wasting this whole envelope behind here? So I'm going to scuff this and everything, and then I'm going to grab the scissors in a second and go, well, Christine, don't waste that. That's a pretty pattern. Uh, cut that in half, and you can use it again later. So I'm looking at this, and then you'll see me do that in just a second. I think I'm just checking my scuffy pieces. I should tell you guys a little about the pictures. I don't think I'm doing anything interesting at this point. Uh, like I said, I'll kind of glue these things down. I will pull out all that ephemera that's up in that plastic container in just a minute, um, or the fussy cut pieces that I did, and I'll kind of start organizing those. And I try to leave that in here, um, quite a bit of it, so you can kind of see what I'm doing, because there's a lot, <laughs> and I want to make sure... If I can, I'll show you. I do end up using like Nouveau glue on some of it. And this is where I realized, you know what? Cut that in half, Christine. Um, I will put foam tape or foam squares up underneath the edges of things. Um, so just to give everything a bunch of dimension. And um, and I'll add the flowers and stuff. And I'll, again, I use Nouveau glue on everything. So the, the pictures. So again, my daughter, we went on a Christmas cruise. And I don't know that yet if I've done any layouts, you guys. I'm so sorry. I might have done one for our... I think I did one for, uh, we went snorkeling one day, so I think you might have seen one of those already. I'm going to do a lot more layouts of the cruise, so no worries, but we went on a Christmas cruise. Um, I shared this on Facebook, actually. We stopped buying gifts about five years ago for our family. We just don't do gifts anymore, um, at least with my immediate family, my husband, my daughter, 
Um, we just, we just don't do gifts anymore. We just go on trips. Now this year we were able to bring my mom and my bonus dad along. Um, as you guys know, my dad and and he's just not going to be able to do that right now. So that really wasn't an option, but we brought them along. So it was a family trip, my daughter and and obviously now her fiance, my husband and I, and then my mom and my dad, a bonus dad. And so, uh, he, Seth decided to, he was going to propose on the cruise and which I think my daughter truly suspected. I mean, it was kind of one of those things is like a major event. And, you know, she knew she was one night. There was like a formal night. You can dress pretty. Um, so I think she truly suspected it. And she didn't know exactly when or whatever, but it was one of those things like, okay, it's probably coming. And um, this was the night, the formal night. You know, if you're on a cruise, you get to dress up certain nights and stuff like that. So he organized it with like the floor manager or something to have a photographer come and take pictures. And we we went over by the piano and I have a picture of them by piano. I'll do something maybe with music notes or something later. But um, so he kind of organized all that. He was very, very sweet. and, and And the managers were always really good. And they had the photographer, and then they went the rest of the boat, and they took a whole bunch of pictures, and uh, we bought quite a few pictures. <laughs> um, so I'll have some of those to scrapbook as well. So really excited. He's adorable. Um, they're going to get married later this year and um, in Colorado, actually. They're deciding they want to go like in nature and do it kind of in a outdoors thing. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so you guys have gotten uh, a sense of what I've got going on here. I've got all these pieces of ephemera. I've got some florals I've stuck in there. There's a little champagne bottle. There's a little... There's some swans. There was a little couple up in there, upright. I love that little couple. I think that's so pretty. Um, I think there's, uh, in the lower left down there, there's some more florals. I had florals. It actually ends up being almost four, basically four embellishment clusters, truth be told. But um, I'm going to add some of these prima flowers. I take the little bluish color. I had to sort through them uh, because there was definitely some colors that didn't work. But then this really pretty kind of greenish, I want to use the word teal. I guess it's a teal. That worked, um, and then there was some kind of more wine-colored or reddish-colored that works well as well. So I've put those in various places in my clusters, you guys. So also there was a little engagement ring box, which was so pretty. I put that up in the upper right next to the little couple. And I think I'm just I'm, I haven't glued anything down at this point. I don't think I think I'm just kind of still organizing and moving and seeing what I can do here because it's going to take me just a little bit to glue everything down and use the foam tapes. And again, anything kind of hanging off gets foam tape. Anything that has a natural, somehow, some way, when I'm fussy cutting after the, out on these thicker cardstock uh, papers, um, there's always kind of a natural little curl. I think it's because you kind of rotate the paper as you're cutting, maybe. And when that happens, I really like that because then when I sit on the paper, there's a, a little bit of a natural curl upwards. So wherever that happens, I typically will stick the foam tape up underneath there. I think, I think that's what I've got going on right there, you guys. I'm thinking, okay, I think I'm done with this. I think that's where everything's going to go. And so I'm going to go ahead and start piling this up. I'm, I'm a clean up in my project type person. If I can, if I can help it, I pick things up. So I've started gluing everything. I glued everything down. This is just the very end of me doing the gluing part. I kind of let you see this piece here. Like I said, I use a little Nouveau glue. I usually use the Nouveau glue on the part that's going to be flat. And then I'll use the foam tapes and stuff on the parts that kind of poke up. So this is me uh, doing the little couple here, and I'll put some foam tape up behind their heads. The little prima flowers, the green ones, um, had like little diamonds in the middle, so that worked out nicely. They're kind of pretty. Oh, and her engagement ring, actually, he got emeralds. Uh, he got a diamond and emerald engagement ring, and it was funny because he was kind of telling us, you know, how did he come to that decision? And I don't, I thought he knew her birthstone was an emerald, and he did not. He just said, I think it would look pretty with her red hair. Um, you know, and it's unique and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, I don't guess you realize that's her birthstone. And it is, it's her birthstone. So it's a gorgeous ring. Um, can't see it in this picture, obviously. We have another picture that where they took it, where it's like the hands are close up and stuff like that. So I'm sure I'll do something with that one in the very near future as well. Um, so that's what I got going on there. I've glued all that down. And then I have this tag here. Again, like she didn't have a tag, but I did want to definitely write the date and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to add a little bow. Um, and I'm going to use a little brown pen, actually, to write on it as opposed to black because the brown just seemed more correct. There's not really any black here except some in the photo, I guess, because, of course, it's a dark. Uh, he's wearing a dark suit, and then the carpet's kind of dark and stuff like that. But um, I didn't really want to use black on it, so I'm going to end up using a brown pen. What have I got going on here? I guess I'm tying this bow. I should have cut this part out, I guess, really, because this video is longer than I would have liked. But I'm hopeful I can record this thing and, and, and export it. I guess if you see this, then you'll know it worked. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know it worked. 
Um, so anyway, here's where I'm going to start writing the journal. I just wrote Seth proposed on Christmas Eve 2023 while on our cruise. It was so beautiful and exciting. And it really was. We really had a great time. I didn't do the slowdown because, again, this video was so long. Um, but here's the kind of close-ups. You can kind of see what's going on. Mente has just gorgeous images, you guys. These are just beautiful and just stunning. And I'm really appreciative of it. And there's that pretty little chippy title. Isn't that gorgeous? I glued that on top of the photo there. Um, I printed this, so I can always have it reprinted. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's the end of the month, too, you guys. So make sure you check out the layout share tomorrow, and we will talk soon. Bye.